from the Gospel of Luke. It was now about noon, and darkness came over the whole land, while the sun's light failed, and the curtain of the temple was torn in two. And then Jesus, crying with a loud voice, said, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. Having said this, he breathed his last. And when the Roman centurion saw what had taken place, he praised God and said, Certainly this man was innocent. Today, Good Friday, is a day for hard truths. A day to not look away from the suffering of Jesus at the hands of the Roman Empire. To be clear about what happened to Jesus. His words, his actions, his beliefs, his love for others, his understanding of God, the just world he envisioned, and his relentless dedication to being a peacemaker. These things subjected him to what was for the Romans a routine yet terrifying public spectacle designed to send a wider message to make people fear being different, being against the norms of culture, religion, and most of all, empire. Today we call it state terror. And state terror, in the case of Jesus, and state terror now, was intentionally, intentionally designed to brutally mock and degrade and humiliate Jesus. Just as the Romans had done with so many before him. Ending his life on a cross, a cross that was used to deny the God-given respect and dignity of Jesus. the very same God-given respect and dignity that Jesus honored in every person he met. We dare not look away today from the hard truths of Good Friday. Another hard truth is that too often we do look away from the suffering of others relentlessly and routinely. Just like the early followers of Christ, for on that awful day when their rabbi, their teacher, their brother, Jesus was killed, many fled, many hid, many denied, denied even knowing who he was. Save a faithful few, including his mother and one disciple. Now here's a hard truth. A hard truth is that we are more like those disciples in their reaction to suffering in our world than we'd like to be. Truth is we love Easter. It's a joyful day. It's a joyful moment. But when Good Friday suffering is happening to others, we often don't want to be like Jesus. We are content to keep a distance from the suffering of others, to compartmentalize it, to put it over here and move on with our lives, unless it's our own personal suffering. We 
we are content to look away. We are content to let the crucifixion of others go on and on and on and on and on in our world around us. Whether it is in the Middle East, Gaza and Israel, or whether it is in this troubled state of Florida, or the troubled nation we live in. But here's the other hard truth. When we look away from the suffering of others, we don't just look away from the suffering of others, we look away from Jesus. And the hard truth of Good Friday is that when we look away from Jesus on that cross, we are leaving him on that cross. And that keeps us at a disturbing and dysfunctional distance from who Christ wants to be for us. It's a hard truth to think about that, that by our own actions we have a say in leaving Jesus on that cross in our hearts and in our world. Another hard truth. Where we see suffering anywhere in the world, anywhere around us, when we see suffering, a suffering person or a suffering community, there we see Christ Jesus. So on this Good Friday, don't forget the suffering of Christ, but not just this Good Friday. Every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday of every week, of every year that we live. Don't forget the suffering of Christ. And don't forget the suffering of others. So let us embrace the hard truths of this day so that we can simply do better as followers of Christ so that we don't look at every issue just through whatever our political lens might be or our personal biases or whatever might be the things we use to judge others and to choose whether or not some suffering matters and others don't. It all matters to God. And that is all represented in the cross of Jesus Christ. I believe Jesus would say to us and does say to us and did say to the people that he ministered to on earth, I believe he would say to us, you can do better, you must do better. So that we look different from the world that is comfortable with having people suffer so much and nobody caring. Let us be the people that care. Let us do better. In the name of Christ, it's up to us. Amen. Were you there when they crucified my Lord?
To tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when they nailed him to the tree? Were you there when God wept at me? rose up from the tomb. Were you there when Christ rose up from the tomb? Oh, sometimes it causes me to tremble.